Now we'll look at three examples of basic indefinite integration. The directions may also say find the antiderivatives. We first have the integral of three x squared minus two x plus one integrated with respect to x. So while we could write this as a sum or difference of three separate integrals, we'll go ahead and leave it in this form and integrate each term individually. So the integral of three x squared would be equal to three times the integral of x squared. Applying the integration formula here, we're going to add one to the exponent and then divide by the new exponent. And since two plus one is equal to three, we'd have x to the third divided by three minus two times the integral of x to the first. So if we add one to the exponent, we'd have x to the second and then divide it by two. Plus the integral of one would just be one times x or x. And then plus a constant of integration. So when we find an indefinite integral or find an antiderivative, we're finding a family of functions that have a derivative of the integrand or a derivative of three x squared minus two x plus one. So let's go ahead and simplify this. Notice here the threes simplify to one and so do the twos, leaving us with x to the third minus x squared plus x plus c. Next we have the integral of three e to the x integrated with respect to x. So this would be equal to three times the integral of e to the x, which is just e to the x. So we have three times e to the x plus c, or three e to the x plus c. This family of functions would have a derivative of three e to the x. And for the last example, we have the integral of four divided by x integrated with respect to x. In this case, it might be helpful to factor out the four to better recognize the integration formula. We could write this as four times integral of one divided by x dx. Applying our integration formula here on the right, we would have four times natural log absolute value of x plus c. This family of functions have a derivative of four divided by x. I hope you found this helpful.